Our universe is a vast and mysterious place. Yet amidst this grandeur, a perplexing question arises. Could our universe be a giant brain? This idea stems from the Boltzmann brain paradox, a thought experiment that challenges our understanding of the cosmos. The Boltzmann brain paradox, named after physicist Ludwig Boltzmann, presents a disconcerting possibility. Imagine a universe governed by the laws of thermodynamics where entropy always increases over time. In such a universe, random fluctuations can occur, momentarily decreasing entropy in a localized region. The paradox emerges when we consider the probability of these fluctuations producing something as complex as a conscious brain, like our own, purely by chance. Intriguingly, the odds favor the spontaneous emergence of a single disembodied brain, a Boltzmann brain, complete with memories and sensations over the formation of an entire structured universe like ours. This leads us to question, why do we observe a universe that appears so finely tuned for our existence, rather than a random assortment of fleeting conscious entities? The Boltzmann brain paradox forces us to confront the relationship between consciousness, the physical universe, and the nature of reality itself. It compels us to question whether consciousness is simply a product of complex arrangements of matter, as traditional science suggests, or if it plays a more fundamental role in the fabric of existence. This exploration leads us to panpsychism, a philosophical perspective that offers a radical interpretation of consciousness. Panpsychism proposes that consciousness is not unique to living beings, but is a fundamental property of reality, present in all things, from subatomic particles to vast galaxies. In this view, the universe isn't just filled with matter and energy. It's imbued with a kind of proto-consciousness, a basic awareness that pervades all levels of existence. This perspective challenges the traditional division between mind and matter, suggesting a deep interconnectedness between the two. It suggests that the universe isn't inherently indifferent to consciousness. Rather, consciousness is an integral aspect of its very being. This perspective raises profound questions about the nature of our own consciousness and our place in the cosmos. Central to the Boltzmann brain paradox and the broader discussion of a conscious universe is the concept of entropy. Entropy, often described as a measure of disorder or randomness, plays a pivotal role in shaping the evolution of the universe. It's a force that drives systems from order to chaos, from low probability states to high probability states. The second law of thermodynamics states that entropy always increases over time in an isolated system. This means that the universe, considered as a whole, is constantly moving towards a state of greater disorder. Think of a shattered glass. It's much more likely to find it broken into a thousand pieces than perfectly intact. Similarly, the universe tends towards states of higher entropy, where energy is dispersed and randomness prevails. However, the existence of complex structures like stars, galaxies, and life seems to contradict this relentless march towards disorder. These systems represent pockets of order, islands of complexity in an ever-expanding sea of entropy. The unsettling aspect of the Boltzmann brain paradox arises from the clash between our intuitive understanding of the universe and the probabilistic predictions it presents. We observe a vast, intricate universe filled with galaxies, stars, planets, and life, a testament to order, complexity, and a long cosmic history. However, when we apply the principles of statistical mechanics, particularly the idea that systems tend towards higher entropy states, a different picture emerges. The paradox lies in the fact that a universe filled with countless Boltzmann brains, fleeting disembodied consciousnesses, is a far more probable outcome than a universe like ours. A Boltzmann brain represents a low entropy fluctuation, a momentary blip of order in the vastness of chaos. While the probability of any specific Boltzmann brain arising is incredibly small, the sheer size and age of the universe, combined with the principles of random fluctuations, suggest that they should be incredibly abundant. This creates a discrepancy between what we observe and what seems statistically likely. We find ourselves in a universe teeming with complexity, not as isolated minds adrift in a sea of randomness. This begs the question, is our understanding of the universe fundamentally flawed? the unsettling possibility that we might be Boltzmann brains, rather than inhabitants of a vast and ancient universe, forces us to critically examine our perceptions and memories. If our existence is nothing more than a random fluctuation, a momentary blip of consciousness in a sea of chaos, then how can we trust that our experiences reflect any underlying reality? The very nature of a Boltzmann brain 
arising from random fluctuations in a chaotic universe, implies that its experiences and memories are not rooted in any consistent external reality. Instead, these perceptions would be entirely fabricated, products of the same random processes that brought the Boltzmann brain into existence. This raises profound questions about the reliability of our own senses and memories. This realization casts a shadow of doubt on our ability to distinguish between genuine experiences and those conjured by a chaotic universe. The Boltzmann brain paradox pushes us beyond the realm of physics and into the domain of philosophy, particularly the enduring mystery of consciousness. If something as seemingly improbable as a Boltzmann brain can arise from random fluctuations, it compels us to reconsider the relationship between consciousness and the material universe. Is consciousness merely a product of complex arrangements of matter, as traditional science suggests? Or does it play a more fundamental role in the fabric of existence? Some theories, like panpsychism, propose that consciousness is not an emergent property of complex systems, but a fundamental aspect of reality itself. In this view, even seemingly inert particles possess a rudimentary form of consciousness, a kind of proto-awareness that pervades the universe. This perspective challenges the traditional dichotomy between mind and matter, suggesting a deep interconnectedness between the two. If consciousness is indeed woven into the fabric of reality, then the emergence of Boltzmann brains with their fleeting experiences might not be as surprising. The Boltzmann brain paradox, while troubling, prompts us to confront a profound and often overlooked aspect of our existence, the interconnected nature of reality. We tend to view ourselves as isolated individuals, inhabiting separate bodies and experiencing the world through the lens of our own unique perspectives. However, this perception of separation might be an illusion, a consequence of our limited human perspective. Quantum mechanics, the branch of physics that governs the subatomic world, has revealed a startling interconnectedness at the heart of reality. Particles, once thought to be independent entities, are now understood to exist in a state of entanglement, their fates intertwined regardless of physical distance. This interconnectedness challenges our classical intuitions about the nature of reality and suggests that the universe is far more interconnected than we perceive. The Boltzmann brain paradox presents a formidable challenge to our understanding of the universe. While it's a thought experiment, its implications are profound forcing us to confront the limitations of our current knowledge and explore new ways of thinking about the cosmos and our place within it. So how do we grapple with this paradox? One approach is to seek flaws in the assumptions that lead to the paradox. For instance, the Boltzmann brain argument relies on the idea that our universe is eternal, or at least incredibly long-lived, allowing ample time for random fluctuations to produce these disembodied consciousnesses. However, if the universe has a finite age, as current cosmological models suggest, then the probability of Boltzmann brains arising might be significantly reduced. Another avenue of exploration involves questioning the nature of consciousness itself. The Boltzmann brain paradox, while unsettling, serves as a powerful reminder that our understanding of the universe is far from complete. It highlights the limitations of our current theories and compels us to question our assumptions about the nature of reality itself. Perhaps the universe is far stranger and more wondrous than we can currently imagine. Instead of fearing the implications of the paradox, we can embrace it as an opportunity to expand our thinking and explore new possibilities. It encourages us to consider radical ideas, to question the nature of consciousness, and to delve into the mysteries of the quantum realm. Perhaps by embracing these challenges, we can pave the way for a more complete and profound understanding of the cosmos. The Boltzmann brain paradox also underscores the importance of humility in the face of the vast unknown. As we grapple with the implications of the Boltzmann brain paradox and the possibility of a conscious universe, we inevitably confront profound questions about our own existence and our place within this grand cosmic scheme. If the universe is indeed akin to a giant mind, interconnected and teeming with a spectrum of consciousness, what does it mean to be human? Perhaps we are more than just isolated observers in a vast and indifferent cosmos. Perhaps we are integral parts of this cosmic mind, contributing to its evolution and experiencing reality through the unique lens of our human perspective. This perspective challenges us to reconsider our relationship with the universe, to see ourselves not as separate from it, 
but as participants in a grand cosmic dance of consciousness. If the universe is indeed a giant brain, then understanding its workings becomes paramount. Exploring the nature of consciousness, unraveling the mysteries of the quantum realm, and probing the origins and evolution of the universe itself become not just scientific endeavors, but journeys of self-discovery.